thoughts in the comments below. Right, moving away from that and on to Aquaman 2. Uh, Aquaman 2 is rumoured to be much darker and much more mature than the first film. So, hmm, I like this bit of news because, uh, of course, the director of... Uh, of uh, Aquaman and Aquaman 2 is James Wan and James Wan uh, comes from a horror background so this uh, this rumor actually comes from Dan Daniel uh, Richman um, who's a kind of a, one of those insider sources inside source insider he's an insider an industry insider that's what they're called and uh, and he posts a lot of this stuff on his Patreon page so he's like a regular scooper scoopster but uh, yeah, the first, I'd say the first Aquaman film, it of course wasn't a horror film, but there were elements of horror movies in there. That's, there's that trench scene in it, which I thought was just spectacular, that, that particular scene. I might, I didn't enjoy, I mean, I did enjoy the film, but if you, I, I watched it again recently and I was like, it's, you know, it could have been so much better. But then again, it was also a very difficult thing to do. Like trying to make an Aquaman movie is is not easy. Just the mere fact of what do we do when they talk is just like, it's difficult. And it was actually done differently in uh, Justice League as to how it was done in the Aquaman film. And I think it was a lot it was a lot better in the Aquaman movie where they just had them talking underwater. Apparently the the idea that Zack Snyder had was that they, the English is impossible to speak underwater. So he went all scientific and did like an air bubble. But it just looked a bit silly and it's like every time they needed to talk they had to do that and it didn't quite work. It wouldn't have worked in a whole feature film. So they took a different uh, route. But what, what what I'm really really interested with this is the fact that it looks like they get, that James Wan is going to be going back to his horror roots. Of course he started um, with the, the Saw movie, the very first Saw movie. Then he did The Conjuring, Dead Silence, Death Sentence. Uh, insidious and then he moved on to um the kind of blockbuster world with far the fast and furious movie that he made so it looks like he's going back to his roots he, he of course is someone that is really really seeped in horror and he, he loves that 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 whole area and that's why there were rumors that he was going to be doing a, a trench movie like but that's rumors well he's gone kind of silent as far as that's concerned i don't know what's happening there but there were rumors that he was going to do that but yes, yeah, so it looks like they're going to be uh, kind of going down the more horror route, which is something that I personally am really, really looking forward to. And I think you can you can put Jason Moe in a horror movie. I think that'd be quite cool. Have him go up against a, a genuinely scary villain. There was the whole kind of um, like not it was. Who did they bring back? They they brought back um, I, no. They got Julie Andrews to play to do the voice of I can't. I'm, I'm blanking now on on the name of the, the creature that. Aquaman can actually talk to that Arthur Curry can talk to and that that scene was quite freaky as well that was quite a good scene but that's the whole thing about it there are, there are lots of scenes in Aquaman that I really did like and I thought they could really push it and and do something more with that and it looks like it sounds to me as though that's what they're going to be doing in Aquaman 2 of course there are also reports that Aquaman 2 is going to feature even more of Amber Heard's mirror so maybe the fact <laughs> like that might work as well. She might be quite like Amber Heard might be quite good in a horror movie. I don't know if she's ever been in one before, but I personally, I'm I am op mildly optimistic. Let's say about this uh, second Aquaman film, even though as I'm going to go into in a minute that there are some some issues that I'm going to talk about in a second. But what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about Aquaman two being a horror film or more of a horror movie, having darker themes and being more mature? Let me know in the comments below. Right, moving on and moving on to what I was teasing before is that the petition demanding Warner Brothers fire Amber Heard from Aquaman 2 has now crossed 1.5 million signatures. So this is, of course, the, the, the kind of the issue that I was talking about, the fact that 1.5 million people have signed this petition. Again, it's been that there are lots of people, Amber Heard herself has called it paid rumors and paid campaigns online. Uh, suggesting that uh, the many of the people behind this um, uh, this petition, this particular petition, are actually Johnny Depp's people, and that it's all inflated and it's bots and it's not real. 1.5 million people now have signed it, and judging by the reaction on Twitter after I posted I posted the the article, a lot of people have signed it that are on Twitter. They can't all be bots. 1.5 million bots is a lot of bots and it's a lot of money to put into something and it's just it's just not feasible that this is all 
fake. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much probably 100% real, the amount of people. Uh, I think uh, 1.5 million people have signed this petition, which means that it's potentially over a million people that won't see Aquaman 2 merely because Amber Heard is still in it as Mira. It's an issue. It's something that I've uh, I've spoken about at length uh, before. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Right, moving on and moving.